Hey everybody, it's Tony from Car Stars, and I'm doing a quick video on this Raptor truck bed coating and this U-Pole truck bed coating. I honestly think they're the same product um, because their instructions are exactly the same, and I can't really tell much difference between the two products. They also uh, cost about the same, about 16 bucks a can, I think. They have like a professional version. I don't know what the difference is, but this is my 03 Ford F250 and the paint on the hood was an absolute disaster. The paint on the roof was an absolute disaster. All the clear coat was coming off uh, and also the uh, it was rusting through on the roof. So sanded it all down. I did this a while ago, um, used the Raptor on this and I think this is about three cans worth and it's hard to tell because it's it's a little dirty but uh, the coating the finish is totally uneven um, the the roughness is totally uneven and the darkness is totally uneven so some some spots appear lighter some spots appear darker and you know it's not as rough of a finish as I'd hoped and also it was super super easy to get runs I don't know if you can see that or not but I got a few runs I tried to wipe it with my finger that only kind of made it worse I was getting a lot of blobby bubbles um, I kind of let some of them just kind of dissolve on their own some I tried to uh, pop like I got a bad goopy run here so yeah so I went to do the roof today and I used the U-Pole stuff so let's go up there and take a look it's drying right now but I used two cans and I, I have to think that the roof here is about the same surface area as the hood if not more but uh, I sanded it first uh, got down to bare metal in a couple spots where the rust was and I hit it with a self etching primer which they say to do so I did that um, and then I hit it with the spray. The spray seems to cover okay, but as you can see there, some spots are shiny and some are not. I'm afraid it's going to it's going to stay like that um, and not dry and look even, kind of like my hood looks. It's not as bad up here because you don't really see it as much, but this product, um, you know, you're spraying it on and if you spray too long, then you get splatters coming out because the nozzle, it's a thick material, so the nozzle starts gooping up and splattering. So I've had to stop. Um, I usually used really short bursts and just went up back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I got one run going on back here, and then I got one run kind of going over there. I was able to kind of clear that off. Also, when I was going like this with the can, I accidentally like scratched the surface of the paint with the can and it, oh it's right here and it left a nice little divot I don't know if you can see that yeah so once you've made a mistake like that um, it's kind of hard to recover from that so I just kept spraying I don't really care it's on the roof and a rusty roof is worse than one with a little tiny divot but again uh, you pull the you pull stuff is kind of finishing out a little I don't know if it's not as rough as the other version looks more rough right there but like right here looks actually relatively smooth so like I said I think they're the same product but they are finishing out slightly different um, I think if you hold the can way back and you get more misty spray you get a slightly rougher finish and then if you have the can a little closer to the surface um, it's smoother so for 16 bucks a can, I'm gonna say I'm not super stoked about this product, either the U-Pole or the or the Raptor. And it it's not like a professional roll-on coverage and end product. So to say I'm disappointed is a understatement as far as like how much I paid. But you can see this has a little bit of more rough texture I think than the than the other product on the roof the u-pole on the roof but anyways it is what it is like I said it looks 10,000 times better than it did because uh, the paint on this truck is whack 
and I'm just trying to make it look slightly better. But anyway, uh, if any of you decide to buy this product, honestly, for the, for the person that's doing this in their driveway, I think this is kind of what you're going to end up with. Maybe you are a, a better uh, applier of the product and you might get a little better result. If you've used this product, let me know and let me know what your experience was because I'd love to hear from somebody else. And because um, you know you're never going to, the guys at the auto parts store, they, they don't use these products. At least most of them probably haven't. So they're not going to be any help advising you one way or the other. But uh, I used it and this is what it looks like. So if you have any questions or concerns or want to share your story, let us know and put it in the comments and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.